Cody had never behaved daily before. He liked pizza and soccer, the same as the other kids at different school. Then one day he started claiming that he was friends with a ghost. None of the other kids saw any evidence that this ghost even existed. Every place that Cody went, he said the ghost was there too. He even saved the seat at lunch for this ghost. He always put a plate out of food. Hey Cody, watch what you're doing. I almost sat right on top of Maximilian. Oh, I'm sorry Maximilian. I didn't see you there. You know what? I didn't see him, Cody, because he's not there. Ghosts aren't real. He doesn't exist. So why? Are you saving a seat at the lunch table? This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> and what kind of name is Maximilian anyway? If I made up a ghost, at least I'd come up with a cool name. Stop it, Juan. You're hurting Maximilian's feelings. <laughs> it does not look like your friend is eating, Cody. He has not touched his turkey sandwich. He has not had a bite of his corn. I guess he's not very hungry today. I don't think he likes turkey. Hey, let me have this brownie. Here comes Sheila. She needs a place to sit. Cody, can you at least ask Maximilian to move? Huh? Hmm. Saving a seat at lunch for a ghost was bad enough. But then Cody insisted that the ghost should play on his soccer team at recess. Now the kids were starting to lose their pace. This is not fair. Our team has four players. The other team has five. How are we going to score any points? That is not true, Aaron. We have five players, too. For some reason, none of the rest of you can see Maximilian. Trust me. He is here. You all should be happy. Maximilian is great at this game. If he's so great, maybe you should play goalie instead of me. We can just let the other team score whenever he plays, please. I just love the idea of losing by a gazillion points. Let's just play the game. Are you ready? Hurry, I'm going to kick the ball to you. Got it. Now get open, Max. Great move. Here comes the ball. Kicking it your way. The ball just kept rolling when Cody kicked the ball. There was no one there to stop it. The ball just rolled right off the field and finally came to a rest beside some first graders who were jumping the rope. Sorry about that, I'll go pick up the ball. Why doesn't Maximilian go get it? He's the big soccer superstar. I don't see how we could have missed that, Cody. You kicked it right to it. That was him, right? It looked like the net to me. But I don't have special powers to see ghosts. Ooh, so spooky. Max stripped when I kicked the ball to Michelle. That is why he did not get it. He's brushing himself off right now. If you will excuse me, I'm going to go get the ball. Let's calm down, everybody. We have a game to play. And right now, we don't have a ghost of a chance. Sorry, I just couldn't help but sing it. Cody was clinging to his ghost story, but nobody else had seen one ounce of proof. In the classroom, Cody asked if Nathaniel could have a place to sit. The teacher, Mr. Butler, said he could use a screen set. Can one second not stay at home from school that day? I were in the class sneakers. This was getting truly loose. I can't see him, of course, but I believe I hear him chomping. He always say that students are too dumb, but I don't know if he shares the whole class. Can I go 
specific gym test today, I can see better from there. Please stay where you are, Laura. Calm down, everyone. Let's concentrate on our lesson. Now, can anyone tell me the name of a mammal that also lays eggs? Remember, almost all mammals give birth to live young, but there are two rare mammals that lay eggs. Anyone? Maximilian has his hand raised. Mr. Fletcher, could you call on him? I'm going to humor you just this one time, Cody. Maximilian, can you name one of the two mammals that lay eggs? For a few seconds, nothing happened, then a piece of chalk floated up into the air. All the children gasped. The chalk began to write words. Dr. Platypus, that is the correct answer. Oh my, I feel faint. I think I'm going to have to sit down for a spell. None of you believe me. See, I told you, Max is my friend, and he's real. When Jim came back to class, Maximilian was given his own desk. He actually started to crunch. It was strange to watch the fool simply disappear. Having a ghost in his school suddenly took some great news to But the kids grew to like Maximilian. Even if only Cody could see him, he was a lot of fun to have around. Both the only kids that about the only thing the kids did not enjoy was playing soccer with Maximilian. He was a real ghost, that was true. But there's another thing that was true. Maximilian was very bad at soccer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jaden. I was a uh, narrator too. And the guy with the hand show. Hand show. I'm Jill and I was a brisket. Cassie. I'm Hamish, and I was Michelle. I'm Jeremy, and I was Aaron. <laughs> I'm Austin, and I played as Cody. I'm Jerome, and I played Laura. I'm Taylor, and I played Juan. I'm Zach, and I played Mr. Fletcher. I'm Haley, and I played Mr. Fletcher.